this to you as it did to me. I said, that's easy. I can do a trick like that, so I tried it. In front of a fine audience like yourselves, I pushed the white one in, I pulled the red one out. Pushed the white one in, I pulled the red one out a little too far. <laughs> you know, when this happened, I said to myself, this just might be a clue that I have two handkerchiefs. What do you say? Is it a clue? Well, a good magician should not give an audience a clue like this. So I determined if I make this mistake, I'll put the red handkerchief in my pocket like that because I don't want anyone to know that there's two handkerchiefs. And then if I put the red one in my pocket, push the white one in like this, and pull the red one out like that, there's a chance. A chance that they'll be just as baffled, bothered, and bewildered as I was the first time I ever saw this done. And ladies and gentlemen, that really is the secret to the color changing handkerchief. I hope you don't mind, but do not to share it.
I'm going to do a little song for you. Okay, try it over there. Go like that, you ready? And 
and look, it didn't work. No, you have to take it away. It's no good. I know what it is. We need to get all the big people involved, don't we? Are you showing off? You are, okay. Should we get all the big people to say Ember Cadabra? Yeah, okay. Ready? One, two, three. Ember Cadabra. Look at that. How's that? It didn't work. Okay, take it away, okay? I'll tell you what, now I'm really stuck because I don't know what to do. I'm in trouble with my wife. Oh, by the way, do you know that um, Liam's not a red, the New Zealand's youngest registered magician because we didn't want to chip him? Okay? How about you going to wave me like that? That's it. And I'm waving my hands and whoop! It didn't work. Oh, I don't know. Take it back. It's no good. Oh, wrong way. He's lost now. No, we'll put it back in there like that. Well, Liam, can we have the wand back, please? I need a wand. Okay, so bring it back here.
it runs for 45 minutes. Uh, and so one, one of our uh, members of Parliament uh, would like to do a little lecture. It don't take all that long. And it's the art of restaurant magic. Okay, are we ready at the back? Okay. Open sesame. Uh, thank you everyone. I got into magic because I was doing a PhD on entertainment. The only top I could find was table hopping. So <laughs> it's a three year project and I've been asked to uh, put it in a compact time of three minutes. I don't know if that's possible, but first of all, you must do, which is really important, you must observe the table and approach it in a way whereby just at the right time when the person is halfway between doing something. So, you must do it casually and fast. <laughs> Once you've done that and you've got their attention, you then must clear a space on the table.
a father's all a junkies, a father's all a drugs. <laughs>